In the universe, time does not flow. It simply is. From the equations of Einstein's relativity, something extraordinary emerges. Past, present, and future are not moving parts of a river, but coordinates of one vast structure, space-time. Imagine the cosmos not as a film playing frame by frame, but as the entire real already complete. Every star that ever was, every event that ever will be, all existing at once within a four-dimensional fabric. This is called the block universe theory. And within it, change is only an illusion of perspective. On this cosmic map, what humans call now is just a slice, a thin cross-section of an infinite whole. Move differently, and the definition of now changes too. For one observer near a black hole, time slows. For another racing close to the speed of light, time stretches. Both are correct. Their realities simply occupy different layers of space-time. In this view, the Big Bang is not the beginning of a story. It is a boundary on the space-time map. Just as the North Pole is a boundary on a globe, the future is already written, not because destiny demands it, but because physics treats time as geometry, not motion. Every moment that will ever exist, every orbit, every fading star, already lies somewhere along that dimension. Consciousness moves along it like a beam of light scanning across the pages of an unchanging book. Even quantum physics hints at this timeless order. Equations such as the Wheeler-DeWitt equation describe the entire universe, with no time variable at all, as if reality itself is frozen until awareness gives its sequence. The idea may sound unsettling, but it also means that nothing is ever truly lost. Every moment that has ever mattered still exists, crystallized forever in the architecture of the cosmos. Time is not running out. It was never running at all. Stay tuned for more journeys through the fabric of space, time, and the mysteries that lie beyond our moment in it.